Okie dokie, Miss Taylor. We are going to go ahead and get started. So, I want you to make sure that you have enough space around you that you're not going to bump into anything. And you have an adult with you. I saw grandma. Hopefully you have someone with you. And then for the adults, I just want to make sure that you know that we will be posting our videos that we record now on our YouTube channel. And if you do not want your child to be on that video, that is totally okay. Just take a second to turn off the video on your end, but keep in mind that I will not be able to see your little one. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna leave my stuffy right there for now. I'm blocking the camera. Okay, so what we're going to do is wherever you are, you're gonna run across four times. So I have this big old space, so I'm gonna run across four times. So when I say go, you're gonna run four times, okay? Ready? Set, go. And three. Hopefully you ran as fast like a cheetah. So now, when we're done with our four, we're going to do our gorilla run. So you're gonna start with your hands on the ground and your feet on the ground, and you're gonna move your hands over and hop your feet over. You're gonna move your hands, hop your feet. Move your hands, hop your feet all the way down. And when you're done, still facing the same way, you're gonna do gorilla run back. So I'm gonna move my hands and hop my feet. Move my hand and hop my feet. Facing the same way the whole time. Move and hop. Hands and hop. Hands and hop. So those were gorilla runs. When you're done with gorilla runs, you're gonna do froggy. So still staying in your squat position. You're gonna face the way that you're going. You're gonna jump up, catch those flies, and then come back down, okay? So while we're gonna do that. Frog jumps down and frog jumps back, okay? Ready, set, go. And then we're gonna do it back, ready? Starting low and catch those flies. Catch those flies. Whew. When you're done catching those flies, we're gonna do our galloping. So we're gonna start standing up and we're gonna face the way that we're gonna go and we're gonna put one leg in front and we're going to step and hop our feet together. Step and hop all the way down like a horsey. If you want, you can put your hands out in front like a horsey, okay? And you can even make some noises. Oh my goodness, okay. So, one foot in front, you pretend you're a horsey all the way down and all the way back, go. And then same foot in front the whole time. Whew. Good job. Now we're going to do the other foot. So now we're going to put the other foot in front. And we're going to pretend we're a horsey all the way down. Ready? Set. Go. Same foot in front the whole time. Whew. That's pretty tricky to figure out. Whew. Okay, the last one is gonna be straight jumps. So what we need to do is we need to make some glue. And we need to glue our legs together. Ready? Squish. And we're gonna make some more glue. We're gonna glue our arms to our ears. Stick. And then we're gonna squeeze our whole body super tight with the glue. And we're gonna bounce all the way down and all the way back. Ready, set, go. And then all the way back, keeping those arms glued to your ears. Try to jump with two feet. Oh my goodness. Now that we are done with our warm up, we're gonna find our, grab our stuffy that we have, or a ball or a sweatshirt, whatever you have, okay? And we're going to start our stretching, sitting in our tabletops. 
So, whew, we're gonna put our feet down. We're gonna put our stuffy on our bellies. We're gonna put our hands down. And we're gonna lift our bottom and our bellies way, way up to the sky. Ready? In three, two, one, go. So you're gonna lift your bellies all the way up. And come down. Okay. Let's do that one more time. So, stuffies on your belly, feet down, hands down. We're gonna lift up. Ready, set, go. Let's see if we can get super high. Don't lose your stuffy. And crash. Woo! Uh oh. Okie dokie. <clears throat> now we're gonna try to move our stuffy from one side to the other in our tabletop. So hands, feet down, stuffy to one side, hands down. This is gonna be really tricky because we gotta use one hand to stand on when we're in our tabletop. So ready, we're gonna try it. It's super duper hard, but we're gonna try it. Ready, set, tabletop up. And then you're gonna grab your stuffy and move it all the way over. Put your hand back down, grab your stuffy, move it all the way over, hand back down. We're gonna do that one more time. Grab, over, down. Grab, over, down, and crash. Okay guys, that was pretty good. Now we're gonna try to lift one leg up and hold, and down, and the other leg up and hold before we come down, okay? Ready? Set, go. And we're gonna lift one foot up. Hold for one, two, three, and down. And we're gonna lift the other foot up. One, two, three, and down. And we're gonna do it again, ready? One, two, three, and down. And the other one, one, two, three, and down. Good job, you guys. Whew. Now we're gonna do our straddle. Yeah, switch back a little bit. So with our stuffy, we're gonna move our stuffy from one foot to the other in our pink, in our straddle, like for our rainbows. So I'm gonna take off my shoesies so that you can see my feet, right? So I'm sitting in a really big straddle. I just push back even more, my goodness. So I'm gonna sit in a really big straddle. And I'm gonna say goodbye toes. So we don't wanna see those toes anymore. We wanna say goodbye toes. Okay, so with our toes goodbye and our mountain down, we're gonna put our stuffy on one foot. Okay, so squeezing those mountains down, saying goodbye to our toes. We're gonna reach up to the sky and we're gonna reach over. We're gonna grab our stuffy and we're gonna put it all the way over to our other foot. Reaching up nice and tall and we're gonna reach over to our stuffy, up and over, and reaching nice and tall. Right, we don't wanna reach like this. We wanna reach all the way up to the ceiling, and then over, grab our stuffy up, and down, and up. Ah, I'm super close. And over, and up, and down. Try to keep those knees from coming up. So we want to squish down those mountains. And my foot forgot to point. We got to point our feet. Say goodbye. We're gonna do that one more time. Ready? Reaching up, over, up, and over, and up. Last time, okay, ready? Over, and up, and over, and up. Good job, you guys. Whew. My arms are tired. Now we're gonna try for our pancakes. So we're going to grab our stuffy and we're gonna go forward and back four times in our pancake. So still keeping those knees pushed down, no mountains and our toes goodbye. We're gonna reach up and we're gonna pull forward and then reach up and then go forward and reaching up and forward and up one last time and forward and bring it back 
Good job. Okay. Now with our stuffies next to us, we don't need him right now. We're gonna try our squat. So we're gonna start with the squat with our hands on the ground. And we're gonna try to stand up. We're trying to keep our hands on the ground. So from the side, it should look like this, right? You're in a squat, hands down, and you're going to try to stand up. Still trying to touch the ground though, okay, right? Okay, let's do that a few times, ready? So we're on our feet, we're on our hands, and we're going to push on our toes. We wanna to still keep reaching for the ground, and then come back to another squat, right? Squat position is kind of like a tuck position, but your bottom isn't on the ground. Your bottom is off the ground. That's a squat. And you're going to re, or you're gonna push up, to reach for the ground, and come back. Let's try that one more time, okay? So squat and reaching, or pushing up, reach for the ground, and then come back. Good job. For our last one, we're going to do seal. So what you're gonna do is you're going to put your hips and your belly down on the ground, keeping your legs out, out behind you, your hands on the ground, and you're gonna push your chest away from the ground. This is called a seal stretch, right? And you can make seal noises if you want to. You can pretend that you're a seal. Seals are kind of funny. But we're pushing away from the ground with our hands. So we're trying to get our face really far away. You could even look up to the ceiling. Good job. That's called seal. And now, for our cat stretch. So for our cat stretch, it's kind of silly. We have to put our chest down to the ground and our bottom sticks up in the air. It's kind of silly, but it's good for our shoulders. So I like to do it. When, it's called the cat stretch because when you see a cat take, wake up from a nap, it does this stretch a lot. And sometimes I do it too when I wake up. So what we're gonna do is we're going to sit, right? We're gonna be on our knees and our we're gonna reach down to the ground with our chest and our bottoms are gonna stay up. Okay, so you're not sitting on your bottom like this. Your bottom is way in the air. Okay, now that we are all warmed up and stretched out, we're going to try for our skills that we're gonna do today. So we're gonna do two things today, I think. Yes, we have time for two things. Okay, so for our first thing, we did this a little while ago, and we do these a lot in class, but we're gonna practice them to make sure that you have them, okay? We are going to do our balance walks. So there's a bunch of different types of balance walks that you can do. There's tippy toes, there's marching, let's see what is it, there's dip walks, and there's sideways, and there's backwards. So there's a bunch of different balancing walks that you can do. We're gonna try for, I think three of those today. We're going to do our tippy toes, so we're going to do our marches, and we're going to do our kicks because kicks are something that is really easy and really fun that you can do that is actually balance exercise because you're balancing on one foot for one second, but you're still balancing and it gets kind of tricky. So we're going to start with our balance walks on tippy toes, that's the first one. So if you have something that you can stand on, like a piece of tape, or if you have a balance beam at your house, that's awesome. I don't have a balance beam, that's okay if you don't either, but we're just gonna practice our walking still on the ground. So what we're gonna do is our tippy toes. So we're gonna stand up nice and tall. See my toes? And we are going to put one foot in front of the other just a little bit. And our arms are gonna go out to the side and you are going to go really, really high on tippy toes, right? So instead of flat feet like this, you're gonna go really, really high on tippy toes. Whoa, See, it's a little hard to balance even on the ground. And that's your tippy toes. Right, so that's your tippy toes, and then if we step, but keeping our feet up really high, that's our balance walks, right? So if we're on our tippy toes, whoa, and 
we can balance, right? And if you're having a hard time, look at something that's not moving in front of you. So you want your arms out to help with your balance. You want your chin up, so you don't want to be looking at the ground because that's gonna make you fall over. So you want your chin up and you want to look at something that's not moving. So if that's the wall, if that's a pole, if that's someone else, without making yourself laugh because then you're going to fall over. That's okay to look at so you don't fall over. So arms out, ready, chin up, and we're going to go up on tippy toes and we're going to walk, 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 and down. Good job, you guys. Let's try that one more time. Let's see if we can go really, really long trying to balance. I'm gonna start way back here. And imagining my invisible line right here. Arms out, chin up. On my tippy toes, I'm gonna walk. One slow step at a time, not too fast. Because sometimes if you go too fast, it makes you fall over. I'm trying to put one foot in front of the other. Whew. Okay. Well, I want to see you do it. So, Miss Taylor, <laughs> she's going crazy. Let's see you do it. Ready? So we're going. I just did it with you. We're going to do it without. You're going to do it without me. So your arms out to the side, chin up, up on tippy toes, and walk. Small steps. Try not to fall over super slow. Nice job, guys. Very good. Whoa. And you got super duper tall on your tippy toes, huh? Okay, so it looks like for our next one, we have someone joining. doing it like okay we are now going to practice sorry someone funny came on so I gotta make sure that we didn't have anybody new so now we're gonna work on our marching so marching is really really similar so almost the same but it's a little different just a little bit so we're still gonna have our arms out and we're still gonna have our chin up, but that's right, where our knees are gonna go really nice and high. But we still wanna practice that we're on a line. If we don't have one, we wanna pretend that there's a line. We don't wanna fall off the line. And we wanna try to hold our foot up a little bit. So like, hold it for one second if you can. We can count one gymnastics if you want. So ready? So with our arms out to our side, chin up. Our knee is going to come up, hold one gymnastic, and march. Up, one gymnastic, march. Up, one gymnastic, march. Up, one gymnastic, march. Up, one gymnastic, march. One more, one gymnastic, march. All right, so it's kind of tricky to balance on one foot if you're not used to it. That's why we have our arms out to the side. Because if our arms are anywhere else, we're going to fall over, okay? Try that again, ready? With me, arms out to the side, chin up, one foot up, one gymnastics, march. 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 One more, one gymnastics, and march. Good job. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can do it really long this time. I'm gonna start way back here, ready? Maybe like 10 steps, hands. Maybe 10 steps. Ready? Arms out to the side, chin up, and one gymnastic, one gymnastic, one gymnastic, whoa, one gymnastic, one gymnastics, one gymnastics, one gymnastics, one gymnastics, almost there, one gymnastics. One gymnastics and good. Okay, so I showed you three times with me. So now I want you to do it, try it by yourself, okay? So you did it with me, I want you to try it by yourself. So remember, 
arms out to the side, chin up, and try to look at something if you're losing your balance. And try to stay on that invisible line. Okay, let's see you go. Holding for one gymnastics and march. One gymnastics, march. One gymnastics, march. One gymnastics, march. Ooh, pretty good, nice one. It's super hard, I think, to balance on one foot, but you guys are doing pretty good. Very nice, very good. Okay, for our next one, like I said, we're going to do our kick. So for our kick, it's very, very similar. Just like to, um, the last one was, it's very, very similar to our marching. So our arms are still out, our chin is still up, and we're gonna try to kick our foot in front and then step. So instead of just bringing our knee up, we're bringing our whole leg up this time, okay? Okay, let's try it. So I'm gonna walk you through it again, ready? So we're gonna start with our arms out to the side, chin up, and we're going to kick and step. Kick and step. Whoa. See, it's hard to balance for the kick, especially if you're trying to stay on one line. Ready? Kick and step. Kick and step. So we're not trying to go crazy with our kick. We're just doing small little kicks and steps, right? Because we don't want to fall off our balancing. So we don't want to do something crazy. Let's try it again. Arms out to the side. Chin up. We'll get something that's not moving. And kick and step. Kick and step. Kick and step. Kick and step. Kick, step. Step, whoa. Kick, step, kick, step. One more, kick, and step. Good job, let's do it from a really long one. Let's try to get 10 kicks, okay? Arms out, chin up, look forward, and kick, one. Good job, kiddos. Let's see you try it, okay? So remember, arms up, chin up, and try to stay on your line. So if you don't have a line, try to step one foot in front of the other. Okay, so we don't want our foot to step one right over here, right? We want to step one foot in front of the other. So take a big deep breath. And let's try to hold it, okay? Ready? Arms out, chin up, and Kick, one, kick, two, kick, three, kick, four, kick, five, kick, six, kick, seven, kick, eight, two more, kick, nine, kick, and ten. Good job, right? So that one, even though it doesn't look hard, I think it's actually pretty hard. You have to, again, you have to balance on one foot. That's crazy. When we were on tippy toes, right? We were just stepping, stepping, stepping. Pretty easy. And then for our knees, we had to hold it for one second with our knee up really high. That's a little harder, but everything's kind of close. But with our kicks, our foot is way out in front of us. And it's hard to balance when our bodies are really big. But when they're really small, it's easier. But when they're really big and they're all over the place, we lose our balance a lot. That's what the arms do. Funny enough, that's what arms to help our balance, right? Okay, Ooh, good. So for our next one, we're gonna try for Spider-Man handstand. So if you have a wall, you can do it on the wall. If you ask your parents permission, you can do it with your feet on top of the couch and your hands on the ground or your feet on a chair or on your bed, but you have to ask permission, okay? But as long as your feet are up high and your hands are down low, we're gonna try for our Spider-Man handstand, which is perfect timing, okay? So I'm going to move my, well, let's see if we can get some Spider-Man handstands in. 
move some stuff around so you can see my hands. Okay, okay. Okay, so if you remember from class, our Spider-Man handstands is our hands on the ground, our bellies facing the wall, and our feet on top. So we're gonna try for our Spider-Man handstand. So I'm gonna start with my hands on the ground, and I'm gonna walk my feet up. One, and up, two, and we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one, and then walk your feet down and then hop your feet in, okay? So we wanna be really gentle. We don't wanna go crazy. We have to have super strong arms. So we're starting low with five seconds and then we're gonna get up to maybe 15 if we can. We're super strong. So everyone's gotta show me those muscles ready in three, two, one, muscles! Yeah, okay. Now we gotta do it again, okay? So take a big deep breath. And again. Okay, so we're gonna do it again for five seconds, okay? Hands down and walk your feet up and up and hold for one, two, three, four, and five. Walk your feet down and hop. Good job, you guys. That's five seconds. So if you're still looking for a spot, that's okay. We're gonna give one second so we can take a breath. Remember, as long as your feet are on top of something and your hands are on the ground, you're all good to go. And you always have to ask permission. You always have to ask to go on things, okay? Because you don't want anybody to get hurt. You definitely want someone watching you. Something. Okay, you're going to do this next one for one more five seconds, okay? Ready? Five more seconds. Then we're gonna go to 10 seconds. Okay, ready? Hands down. And walk your feet up and hold for one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now we're gonna do two 10 second handstands. We can do it. So we're gonna take a big deep breath and out. Ready? Deep breath. One more time. Okay, we're gonna do it for 10 seconds. I know we can do it, okay? Ready, so our first one for 10 seconds. Hands down, and we're gonna walk our feet up. Go! And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and walk your feet down. Good job, you guys. Okay, take two deep breaths in. We're gonna do it again, ready? Okay, one more time for 10 seconds before we try the super hard one. Okay, I'm ready. I think we can do it. I know we can do it. Ready and go. For one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Really good job. Now we're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna do one, our last one, for 15 seconds, okay? So take a big deep breath in this time. Ready? Okay, guys, we're gonna do it for 15 seconds. You can do the shake at your arms if you need to. Take another big deep breath. Oh, our arms are super strong. Ready, let's see. Ah, yeah. Okay. For our 15 seconds in our Spider-Man handstand. Hands down. And we're gonna walk our feet up in three, two, one, and go. For one, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, you guys. That was super tricky, but we did it because we got strong muscles. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Whew. 
Oh good, our class is just over. So, for we don't have a game for you and I today, but if you want to do a game with you and the people in your house, you can play what I'm gonna play later, which is freeze dance. So, how you play freeze dance, if you don't know, is you're gonna play music, and then someone is going to stop the music, and you're gonna have to freeze in a silly pose. And you have to stay frozen until the person plays the music again. Okay, so it's called freeze dance. So you can play any music you want. You play it and you dance, and then someone's gonna freeze it and you have to freeze in a silly pose. Hold it. And then you dance again when the music turns back on, okay? So that's something that you can do for hours if you want to, okay? So I'm gonna let you do that at home with whoever's there, okay? So always ask permission before you play with things, okay? So I'll see you guys next time, okay? It was good to see you. Bye.